This is a Hasbro Beyblade. It looks really dope. It has good detail and everything, right? Particularly, this is a green drain Fafnir. Green is my favorite color. Fafnir is one of the, in my opinion, the best Beyblade lines. And so, yeah, I think this looks really cool. Like, it's a Hasbro Beyblade with all this detail. Um, I think this driver is pretty cool. But, yeah. This is also a Hasbro Beyblade. And from the outside, it may look alright. But... But, th this is the Takeratomi version. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you can see, not only is there no metal, uh, Hasbro didn't even paint this part. As you can see, these aren't stickers. These eyes right here, those are not stickers. Those are paint detail. Hasbro only painted one of the eyes. Um, yeah. And then, when you look at the bottom, this is free spin. This is... Solid. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know. And so, uh, it gets worse. And so, today's video is gonna be how bad is Quad Strike or Quad Drive actually? Quad Strike and Quad Drive are the same thing. And just looking on the outside, here we have a nice, beautiful Zest Achilles. And here we have Zeal Achilles. Just looking at the box, that is supposed to be this. That is going to be an interesting video. But wait, we also have Hasbro <laughs> exclusives. This is a, a Fierce Basilisk and Hydra Kerbex. Some ha well, Kerbex core, we know that that's, cha that's supposed to be this, which I also have chain Kerbex. Do they look the same? Yeah, no. Anyway. Let's take a peek at, uh, let's look at Zeal Achilles first, uh, just because, um, I know this one is, I know this one is particularly interesting, and I've been wanting to look at, uh, at, uh, some of this quad garbage, so anyway, ugh, using a pin, wait, why am I being nice? I don't care about this box, I can reptar it. I don't want to. I don't say has boxes. Has boxes are okay. Yep, and that's everything. There we go. Box looks just like a Hasbro Bay now. Uh, set those to the side. So um, yeah. You know the thing is, I gotta say with with Quad Drive, Hasbro attempted to um copy the shape of of Longinus. As you can see, at least the driver, they tried to mold it in the same shape as they tried to at least make it look the same shape. And, um, I mean, with the disc, you know, they, they look similar. <laughs> this looks like a, I, I don't really know, but you can kind of, they look kind of similar. You know what, let me get, I had a blue karma right here. Let's use a normal uh, karma. They look kind of similar. Um, the drivers are completely different, but you can at least see they tried to mimic it. With uh, with this one, um, they ain't even they ain't even try. <laughs> um, so oh god, that smell is weird. But so here we have Zeal Achilles, which. That, the shape doesn't look anything like this. This looks nothing like this. Oh, wait. I think this isn't right spin. This is a left spin only. Oh, well, first thing, this is left spin only. And Zeal, this Achilles is supposed to be left and right spin. So, let me just, let me just fully change it to left spin so I could say it's a fair comparison. All right. Oh, yeah, well, by the way, you could also, uh, you know, you had an extra part here that you could change. You used to change modes. Um, so, this is based off of this mode, which there are a bunch of modes with this Beyblade, but it, it can't change modes. But this is what it's supposed to, this is the mode it's supposed to be based off of. Those look completely different. Like, that's not the same. Because even then, you got this little nub part out here. They don't. It doesn't have the, like, the shapes are not the same. The shapes are not the same. Um, 
yeah, nah, this this looks dope. This looks crazy. But even then, when you look at it with the armors, they made the armors different. Which in Quad Drive, at least they mimic the armor. They just reuse this armor from Quad Drive. At first in Quad Drive, they tried to at least make plastic versions. Oh yeah, this is plastic by the way, not metal. But at least in Quad Drive, they tried to make the uh, the same shape as the ones. But this isn't even the same shape as the the norm the the, the Achilles. But, and, and then what gets even worse is that the disc isn't even, like, the same. They gave it Hasbro Giga, which they could have given it, like, Hasbro Over or something, right? Or at least some circular disc. They didn't even make a disc for it. Like, they didn't even try. Like, that's kind of crazy. And then the drivers, like, okay, again, again, I will just look at the destroys. <laughs> look at the destroys. I mean, they look different, but you could tell they tried. I mean, not tried, but tr attempted to shape it in the same way. Um, I don't, I don't understand what the hell this is supposed to be. <laughs> I don't understand what this is supposed to be. Um, that that wasn't. This is the right one. This is the Hasbro one. That looks nothing like this. And then when you take it off, you get this. And um. Well, you can switch the modes on Quattro, but the closest one you can get is this this free spinning metal ball. Those don't, and this isn't even a full ball. They made it semi flat. So, uh, yeah, um, I, I mean, people said Hasbro is bad, but this is just, this is this is crazy. This is. This is ridiculous, man. Like, this is this is wild. <laughs> and I've been seeing videos about Quad Strike and Quad Drive about how bad they were. And I, I mean, I agree. Like, a lot. This is this is this is this is bad. Like, at least with like Metal Fight, even when they like cheaped out, it kind of still looked like the original thing. This, look at that. Look at that. That is that. What? <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. That. What? Literally. Oh my god. But it gets worse, I think. It gets worse. Now we're gonna. Here we have uh, the Chain Curbeus, which I feel bad because Chain Curbeus is a prize Beyblade, which I bought the full set, but anyway. Um, Chain Curbeus, this is a prize Beyblade. So, you know. At least with Metal Fight, a lot of, with Metal Fight and Hasbro, Hasbro would release the uh, random booster Beyblades individually, so that'd make them easier to get, right? That, I, you know, I don't recommend buying fake Beyblades at all. Fake Beyblades are bad, you should never buy them. But it says a lot when a fake Beyblade looks more like the original thing that's in the show than this, okay? Like, my main problem with Hasbro stuff is that when you look up on, when you look up Beyblade on Amazon, you're going to see fake stuff and you're going to see Hasbro stuff. And when little Timmy tells his mom, I want Beyblades, and which one does he wants, he's going to get the one that looks like the one he sees in the show. And that one is not this. <laughs> This is not the one they see in the show. And I'm like, the least you could do is if you're going to remove all the gimmicks, the least you could do is paint it. Because at least if you painted it, like, if this was just garbage, right? This was all plastic, right? If it, if this was at least the detail you had, like, if this was the detail they had, which, which, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, which, um, let me see, do I have an example? Um, I think I got an example. Yes. I have an example right here. Um, do I have the other, uh, do I have the, the Hasbro version? Uh, I mean, the Takeratomi version, because I got the Hasbro version in my hand. Sorry, I know I should have had this already ready to go. But, uh, uh, Anyway, 
This is a Hasbro winning Valkyrie, and this looks pretty much the exact same as the TT one. Now it's still bad because this is supposed to be metal, and it's in its. This used to. This is, was metal on the Takeratomi one, but at least it looks like the Takeratomi one. It could pass for it, right? Even though not having the metal was bad, which is I don't agree with. At least it looks like the Takeratomi one. Uh, I don't know where my Takeratomi one is, but anyway. This this is the Hasbro one, and it looks pretty much the exact same as the Karatomi one. Uh, let me just see if I can get the TT one, if I have it in one of these, um, just looking in uh, one of my little bay things right here. Nope, I don't know where the Karatomi one is. Um, is it uh, over here? Ah, well, I found this Karatomi one, but it's a recolor. Okay, this carrot told me one is a recolor, but I got a gold recolor, but at least the details are there. Like, you could see the detail, and this is the carrot told me one, as, as you could see, there's the teeth right there. But as you could see, at least the detail, like, the details are at least, like, pretty much identical. Except this one has some stickers, like, right there, that's the sticker, but pretty much the detail is identical. With, with this, I'm like, I'm like, yo, dude, like, what? <laughs> I, it's not, it's not that hard, at least if you're lazy enough and you don't want to paint it, at least what you could do, which is what used to happen with Beyblades, um, they all use, well, the Karatomi ones still come with stickers, but if, if, if painting is too much, I'm pretty sure stickers might be less expensive than painting, so why not just, you know, put the stickers in the box, because I'm pretty sure with stickers it might be able to save some things, I'm not sure if it can save everything, but it can save some things. Oh, there we go. So. Oh my god. This looks even worse than on the box. This is... This, apparently, is Chain Curbeus. Mm. This is... This is Chain Curbeus. The one thing I will give Hasbro Pops for is at least they include a left and right launcher. You know, Hasbro and Metal Fight never released a LR launcher or a left string launcher, but at least you could get one launcher and it could go in both spin directions. A lot of TT launchers, um, um, well, the most recent ones are, are LR, but I know before there wasn't as many LR launchers, like in the beginning of Beyblade, but anyway, um, like I'm talking about in Beyblade Burst. Um, do I have an old TT launcher? Like, they used to have a standard right, standard left, but, well, then they moved everything to being LR. Um, but anyway, this is, um, we got the longinus effect because they painted this eye, but they didn't paint these two eyes. But I'm like, you can't even tell what this is supposed to be. And when you look at the side... It's like, bro, like this one also has the gimmick of coming out. And, and I just, when you look at the bottom, at least that's a little bit more closer. That's a little bit closer of a comparison than this. This is not a comparison. Look at that. That, like when you hold them like this, you can clearly tell which one's which. And then, well, when you hold it sideways, you can still tell, you to tell which one is which. But, you know, at least... This kind of looks like this. Like, this is crazy. And then with the same thing with the disc. What? What is this supposed to be? Like, they didn't even try. They at least do the armor right? Okay, at least the armor is the same. At least the armor is the same. This is still plastic, but at least they molded the armor correct i i guess um yeah at least they did that this is this is crazy this is gonna be i'm setting up for the thumbnail right now this is gonna be how bad i think i'm gonna title this video how bad should i do hasbro actually or how bad is quad drive slash quad strike actually you know what guilty longness is about to get back up in there about to put guilty because I think guilty is the most egregious one 
Um, well, Ultimate Valkyrie is also really bad, but I've never, I, I haven't seen Ultimate Valkyrie. Oh my god, yeah, that is, that is bad. Well, now we have the Hasbro exclusives, so there's nothing to compare this to except the Kerbeus core in this one. The Kerbeus core in this one is supposed to be this, which, oh, and by the way, this detail right here is rubber. It's pure plastic on the other one. My thing is, is a lot of times also in the Beyblade anime, um, specifically in Burst, is that gimmicks kind of play a factor. And so when gimmicks are removed, like, and especially because Quad Strike is supposed to take place after Quad Drive, and you're going to have, like, Iga's literally going to go from having, um, what is it, Infinite Achilles? That's the last time he was in the anime. But you literally have, like, uh, damn, where's my, uh, I don't have my uh, Chosey Achilles. Well, anyway, you're going to have him going from a really cool bay in the anime to this. And he's going to say it's an upgrade. But why is it an upgrade? Like, what is the gimmick to this? What? What? What, what is the gimmick? <laughs> what is the gimmick? Oh, my God. Oh, everything fell out on my lap. Everything fell out on my lap. So. Ew, that looks disgusting. <laughs> that color. Those colors are not it. Those colors are not it. Oh my god. And the color choices... Now, TT got some crazy color choices. Takara told me got some crazy color choices. But, but this right here is kind of like... Who, who thought this would look cool? I don't really know about that one. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just was testing this one, and that one is tight. Now, something about Hasbro is also they use uh, slopes instead of teeth, which at uh, first I thought was kind of bad, but, you know, the thing about it is slopes don't wear nearly as much as teeth do. I still like teeth more, but I just thought that was cool. And this one, Hasbro, a lot of them have weak slopes. Like, Loganus has bad slopes, but this one, this one's kind of tight. Okay, hold up. I mean, it still looks garbage, but I mean... <laughs> This is for them. This is a quad drive to quad strike competitive combo out there. And, um, Corbeus is kind of tight, but anyway, this, I don't know what this is supposed to be. This is like a knockoff Excalibur. You know what this actually kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, do I have the red one? Um, it reminds me of like the Super King type fusion deal that you had with, um, with this, um, I don't know. Do I have my other rubber one? The idea was you could, uh, hold up. Do I have my, uh, I gotta have the rubber one somewhere. Hold up. I'm gonna put you right there. I wanna see if I can get the rubber one. You guys go right there. Can't get a good angle. Okay, stay right there. Don't click off the video. Don't click off the video. Ah, yes, here it is. Here it is. I got it. 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 Don't click off the video. We're right here. I'm right here. I know. I know. I, know. I gotta readjust. Um, there we go. But um, with Helios and Hyperion, what you could do is you could take these two blades, right? You could take these two blades, and you could take them apart. Um. Oh crap! How do you take these apart? Oh, here we go. You take it apart. And then you take them apart, and then you can fuse them like that. And then you get this little shaped guy. That's what this kind of looks like. But then, for some reason, it has this sharp point up there, which I guess makes this good for attack. But it's so weird looking. That is that is weird. It literally looks like you're holding it like this. Is that what this is supposed to be based off of? That bottom is... What is that? That looks like a star or something. Oh yeah, I think this is supposed to be swivel, which this was supposed to be free spin, but of course it's not free spin in quadra. Oh my god. This looks Am I did I put them on the right discs? Oh no, discs are supposed to be switched, but it doesn't even matter. But anyway, um 
yeah, I, I don't, I don't really get the, the motivation or idea behind Hasbro doing this. In Gen 4, I just hope that Hasbro don't get the license. But, I guess, um, uh, you know what, to put in perspective how good Quad Drive is, or Quad Strike is actually, we're gonna do, instead of doing guilties because they're both attacks, it's gonna be hard to get it, we're just gonna do a simple battle between Chain Curbeus and Chain Curbeus. See, this, this is the test of how good this Quad Drive actually is. And I launched the 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 tech te hair Tony version one first. Wow, that that was embarrassing. Now, uh, can this one spin steel? Nope, I tried because I was supposed to be left spin. Oh, it actually neutralized. All right, but um, yeah. I'll just put all my quad drive stuff out there. Quad drive is bad. I bought these so you don't have to. Um, I don't recommend at all buying quad drive. Um, if you, I think they might be fun though. You know what? Let's do a quad drive on quad drive battle because I do think maybe the cool thing is that they're competitive with each other. I guess. Um, let's do this one. This Curbeus. Versus whatever Achilles this is. Let's see. Maybe maybe that's going to get us some good results. Oh, look at that epic battle. Okay. 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 Um. Oh, damn. It was fun at the beginning. Then it kind of just died. Um. I guess let's do... This Curbeus, you know what, this is going to be the true test. This is the attempt at Curbeus from the Hasbro copy of Chain. And in this we got the unique Hasbro Curbeus. So, I guess let's see, did Hasbro improve on the on the Curbeus design? Oh, I guess it did. I guess it did. That was kind of a little snipe shot, but let's do, let's do one more. This is the last quad drive battle y'all are ever going to see on this channel. That. Okay. Anyway, I've wasted enough of y'all time. A lot of y'all probably already know how bad Hasbro is, but yeah. My main hope for Gen 4, you know, not even a good system. My main hope for Gen 4 is that whatever it is, Hasbro does not get to fuck it up. I just don't want Hasbro to touch it. I want it to be like TT, just have Hasbro import or whatnot. I do not want Gen 4 to have Hasbro this at all. I don't want it at all. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.